In this video, we'll be tackling rasterling condition managements, which will help you speed up your workflow and increase efficiency. Start by selecting a job that you would like to set up with your default settings. Under Image Edit, adjust any settings that you would like to have applied to all future jobs using this condition. If you're setting up a condition that will be used for dice sublimation, you would want to consider having Reverse selected, since all of your future jobs would need that option. Click the Color Edit tab and adjust your settings here as well. If this was a grayscale condition, you would have gray balance selected for all future jobs. Finally, under Print Condition, select the profile you will be using for this condition. Go through your print mode settings as well to make sure they're all properly set up. You may want to have unidirectional on for fine prints or have an overprint of two times for jobs that will be backlit. When you're finished, select condition management in the lower right corner. Create a condition name on the left side and click add. Make sure your name is less than 11 characters or this will cause problems for the hot folder that we'll be creating later. Once the condition is created, go through the print condition, color edit and image edit tabs and select update with selected job. Once that's done, click on the Hot Folder tab and hit Create to generate a new hot folder with the same name as your condition. You can now back out of this job. Back on the main raster link queue screen, you can now open a new job. On the right side, you will now have the condition you created. Selecting that condition will load your job into the queue with all of the settings that you previously picked. In Adobe Illustrator, you can output directly to the newly created hot folder, but you'll first have to choose the right folder by going to Select Hot Folder. Once the job has been outputted to this folder, it will also have the same settings that you've picked for this condition. This function is a great way to streamline the workflow for jobs that will often have the same settings, such as backlit signs, paper prints, or banners. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe to our YouTube page for many more, and don't forget to check out allgraphicsupplies.com.